last check in before the game tonight, and then we ride. Yeah, this feels like a dream. And you know just what I mean. You see my boy, he like gotta made it, how to made it. Boy, he's a fan, and he like the Ravens, like the Ravens. And you know just what I mean. You too, team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video and another episode of NFL Questions from Subs, a series where you can ask me any question and we answer it in a video. Just like this. I thought yesterday's episode was going to be the last episode before the game, but here we are. So it's all good. I love y'all, Team Keep It Clean. If you want to be a part of Question from Subs, you can send me an email to teamkeepitclean at gmail.com. Don't send it anywhere else because your question won't be a part of Question from Subs. Stuff is crazy. Stuff is wild. For all of the emails that we even get from team keep it clean at gmail.com we can't even answer all of them because stuff is about to get so crazy but for the patrons for the patrons every single patron's question will always be answered and shout out to all the team keep it clean patrons i appreciate y'all i love y'all thank you for rocking with the channel if you want to become a team keep it clean patron you can go to patreon.com slash engravenviz. If you don't want to become a Team Keep It Clean patron, then you wouldn't go to patreon.com slash engravenviz. I love y'all. Today is game day. Let's do it. First question came from my boy John M. Appreciate you being a patron. He said, yo, what's up, bro? How you and the fam doing? Oh, we doing good, man. He said, I want to say, should the Ravens trade for Devontae Adams? Well, first and foremost, before I even get into the body of the question, that would be nice. It won't happen, but that would be great. Well, it could happen because he's not on a deal yet. But it's unlikely to be to happen because he's going to command that top wide receiver money. And that's not what we do over here. We don't pay no top wide receiver money. Who do you think we are? Devontae Adams would be nice. I would love him. But, yeah, man, it's, uh, it's wishful thinking. But anyway, he said, I know this sounds crazy and dumb, but I seen an article on Google saying Ravens should pursue him since the Ravens have lots of draft picks, which they will use them for replacements after this season at a few positions. Uh, what do you think about it? And have you seen Shang-Chi Chang yet? If not, I recommend it. I have been hearing nothing but good things about that movie. No, I, I haven't seen it, though. Um, with oh Yeah, they do have a lot of draft. They got a lot of fourth-round picks. Fourth-round picks ain't going to get that done. And as bad as the Packers got beat up on yesterday uh, by them Saints, uh, yeah, all them fourth-round picks Ravens got, that, that ain't going to get no deal done. Uh, but, yeah, Devontae Adams, I think that... Um, I think what the Packers will do, everything depends on Aaron Rodgers. If Aaron Rodgers stays, Devontae Adams stays. But if Aaron Rodgers leaves, then I think Devontae Adams, he's going to be like, mm, I don't want to be here no more. I'm trying to be out. So I think the uh, the Packers could end up franchise tagging him, uh, and then they could trade him while he's on the franchise tag because he ain't going to want to sign a no long-term deal with the Packers if Aaron Rodgers ain't there. Um, but I do not think the Ravens will be in the runnings, in the rankings, in anything for Devontae Adams. I wouldn't mind if they were, but I don't expect them to. Next question came from my boy Cody T. Appreciate you being a patron. He said, how's it going, my man? It's going really good, man. He said, hope you're doing well. I watch your videos just about every day at this point, and something caught my attention. Oh, man, well, that caught my attention that you might be crazy. If you watch these videos every day... Something might be off in the head with you, man, because something's off in the head with me, and all the team keep it clean is something off in the head with all of us, but nah, I appreciate it, though, seriously, man. Anyway, he said, uh, with the signings of Le'Veon Bell, Devontae Freeman, and Latavius Murray, don't forget about Trent Cannon, because he was not on your list, but he said, do you think the Ravens are just looking for placeholders, or do you think they are using this circumstance as an opportunity to find a mentor figure for J.K. Dobbins in the future? Um, I, I think right now, it's just, they needed running backs. <laughs> they needed running backs. Those were the guys that were out there. They have a young running back in Tyson Williams, uh, but now they got some experienced running backs uh, with Bell and Freeman um, and Murray too. Uh, different, all got different running styles from each other. Um, all got different styles from uh, from Gus Edwards and J.K. Dobbins. So they, but they all have had success in the league. That's the one thing that they got in common. They all have had success in the league, and I think Ravens just wanted to make sure they had somebody that had that experience that could come in and try to plug and play. We'll see tonight, man. Ooh, ooh yeah, that's tonight. We're going to get to see. So finally, finally, we'll finally get answers, man. Finally. Because we've had so many. Y'all know we had so many questions from subscribers, which I love and appreciate. But now, starting tonight. Some of our questions will really start to get answered because we answer them here, but that's our answer. Now we get to see the Ravens answer, the Ravens response to the questions. Ooh, it's going to be fun. But anyway, he also said, 
Um, who uh, would J.K. Styles' uh, play style align with more? Yeah, really none of them. I I I would say uh, none of them. Um, because I just no, they it's just he's not to me. He's not similar to any of them, and none of them are similar to him. Um. And yeah, do you think they're just using this as a circumstance or as an opportunity to find a mentor figure for J.K. Dobbins in the future? Um, yeah, they, uh, yeah, as a a mentor for J.K. No, I don't really think they're looking into it that deep right now. I I, I don't. Um, because again, you got J.K. who's under contract after this year for two more years. Same with Gus Edwards. Um, with Justice Hill, that's that's a little interesting because they waived. They did a wave uh, a wave injury reserve. So they waived him and they put him on waivers so anybody could claim him. Um, so Ravens were willing to, to be like, all right, you know what? Okay, if, if somebody claims you, bye. Um, so I think that says a lot about where they are with the future uh, with uh, Justice Hill. Um, but, yeah, I, I think maybe one of these guys could be a just-in-case guy. Like, hey, just in case things don't work, some, just in case something happens next year, we, we have you around, we have you on, this, on this, the squad, maybe practice squad, or around the roster, we'll see, but I don't really think it's like nothing, nothing too crazy for the future. Next question came from my guy Raven Pride, I appreciate you being a patron, man. He said, what's going on in Graven? Hope you had a great football Sunday, because I know I did. I want to express my thoughts on a particular team this weekend, the Brownie Browns. For the first time, I decided to root for the Browns at the Chiefs, and man, they were just smoking on all cylinders. Yes, they were. They came out there killing it. Uh, he said, then the old Browns returned. Nick Chubb, who to me is probably right behind Henry as the best running back after contact, fumbles the ball, and they just couldn't stop KC from scoring, and it was over. I, I, I wouldn't say that. Well, let me, let me finish this question first. He said, what I'm trying to say is before these experts put the Browns to win the AFC North, the Browns need to know how to win, just like we Ravens have proven that we can close out teams, except the Chiefs. Um, have a wonderful Monday night watching our boys. Appreciate it. Now, um, I wouldn't say that, yeah, they, they didn't close it out. They didn't close it out, but they were right there. They were literally right there. They didn't get blown out. It was They didn't get steamrolled. They didn't get demolished. They were literally right there. They, they had a chance to win the game on, on their last possession. They had an opportunity to. They could end up throwing a pick. And uh, that offense, they were doing their thing throughout the game. They were doing their thing. Um, the run game could have been a little bit better, but it was pretty strong. Uh, Baker Mayfield was out there. Thought he was throwing dots, man. He was doing his stuff. I said, okay, Baker. Okay, Bake, Bake. Bake over here cooking. But anyway, um, <laughs> David Njoku. Ooh, David, David Njoku. He, he surprised me yesterday. Cause this dude was making some crazy catches and they were contested catches in traffic. I was like, okay, okay, David. So you really did want to stay. All that trade talk was just talk. Um, or maybe they just couldn't find a good trade partner. But anyway, uh, are they the same old Browns? I think it's to, to be determined. But you got to also give them their credit because they hung in there with the top AFC team. They hung in there. They, they, it came down to the wire with the team that's been in the Super Bowl the past two years and should have been in the Super Bowl the past three years. Then they came right down to the wire. A couple things go this way, a couple things go that way, and they win. I know that it didn't go that way, but still. So got to give them that credit. I, I, I can't sit up here and say, oh, they're the same old brownies or whatnot. They did lose, yeah, um, and there are no moral victories. But at the same time, Nah, if they would have got blown out or something, it was like 31-3, then I, okay. But, nah, it wasn't that. Next question came from my guy, Jalen. He said, what's up, Engraven? My name is Jalen, and I had a question about something that really bothers me. All over sports media and talk shows, the question has been, how much more is Lamar Jackson going to run now that J.K. and Gus are out? I even heard someone on ESPN say he could lead the league in rushing. Why is the answer to run Lamar a lot more instead of diversifying the passing game and increasing his passing attempts? Thanks for your time, and I hope all is well. Yes, everything is good, and hopefully after tonight, everything will be that much better. Uh, with Lamar Jackson, I, I don't think any of us going into this season, um, going into what we expect the Ravens to do. Again, we're going to get answers to those questions starting tonight, but I don't think any of us expect Lamar Jackson to run more. Um, I think we actually expect there to be less design runs for Lamar Jackson. Still going to have him in there and whatnot. 
But just to find more ways for him to get the running backs involved as far as the checkdowns and whatnot. Um, Because we know Lamar, he loves the big plays. He loves going for the big plays. And, you know, I ain't mad at him for that. But the checkdown has to be incorporated more into his game. Um, And the checkdown is actually a way to uh, protect him from running more. Now, we still want him to run. Still do your thing, Lamar. Still go, go out there and make them plays, both with your arm, with your leg. Do it all. Uh, but I think going into this season that they were going to rely. Like, and they, they have been saying it, too. Like, J.K. and Gus, they've been working on their hands. Um, they've been like the, the T.T. and Kiki. Uh, I forget which one exactly, but they've been helping them uh, run routes. They've been having, helping everybody run routes because they said they were working with the wide receivers working with the tight ends and working with the running backs on route running. So like those guys, you don't you don't go out there and route running just so you can block. No, you go out there and route run so you can catch passes. So the fact that they were doing that with the running backs too, that lets me know that these running backs were going to get more involved in the passing game. So I, I wouldn't expect Lamar to, I still expect Lamar to run. And he's probably going to definitely get over 1,000 yards if, uh, especially we got 17 games this year. Um, but... I, I wouldn't expect him to run more just because J.K. and Gus are out. I, I could see how people could think that early on uh, because you got Bell and Freeman. You got all these other running backs that are not familiar with this system. Uh, now, Tyson Williams, he's still going to get his, especially tonight. He should get a lot more than the other guys, whoever else is active. But um, I wouldn't necessarily expect Lamar Jackson over the course of the season to, to run more. Just because those guys are out. And the last question on this episode came from my guy Ronald. He said, Ain't Graven, just a quick question, but what do you think about a trade for former Broncos running back Philip Lindsay? Just wanted your thoughts on the idea. And you know what's funny? I just saw a tweet uh, from one of the analysts, and he was like, Oh man, these Texans, if they're not going to use Philip Lindsay, then they might as well trade him to somebody who will. Um, with Philip Lindsay, <clears throat> He, he did his thing with the Broncos. I'm not sure what happened over there. I'm not sure if it was injuries or whatnot, but I forget. Because uh, he was once their lead back. Um, and I think was he un- I think he was undra- he was either undrafted or he got drafted in the fifth round. Was, I, I believe he was undrafted, though. But either way, that's beside the point. Um, I think running Ravens right now are going to be under an evaluation period with their current running backs, with the guys that they got. See what they have before they make any moves, before they even think about trading for possibly trading for anybody. Think they want to see what their guys have, and they're going to want to see their guys with a couple of weeks of practice and, and learning the system. And if it still wasn't clicking, which I don't expect it to not click, I expect it to click, especially this rate. Like, you mean to tell me you can't run in Raven system? Like, you're running back and you can't find success in Raven? If, 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 if that's a problem, then somebody might need to retire. If they cannot find success in a Ravens run game, oh, yeah, then, yeah, it, it might be time to call it quit. Because even me, I mean, I got some speed now. I, the, the, the stamina part, that's why I got to tighten up. I, I run a good play. I run a good two plays for you, and then I'll be out of breath. But anyway, even I, I could have some success in Ravens run game. Um, but <laughs> but if, uh, that's what I think the Ravens are doing. They're just waiting it out. Getting a little feel of seeing how that guy is going to look that they got right now. And then, it, worst case scenario, again, which I don't expect it to happen, but worst case scenario would be if in a couple of weeks, maybe like a month or something, if, if it just wasn't clicking for some guys, then they start looking at other options. And one last thing I wanted to do uh, before we get on up out of here is give a special shout out to all the uh, the Team Keep It Clean patrons. And I wanted to call them by name because I, I oftentimes don't get an opportunity to do it because y'all know stuff is so busy and it's always so much crazy stuff happening. Um, but this is just my special shout out and appreciation to them uh, for being willing to do that. So uh, shout out to uh, Cam N, Marquita A, Gary A, Buddy P, Jerome W, Davis T, Louis E, Purple Era 8, John R, Garrick M, Yolanda B, Stephen M, Joshua H, Oscar L, uh, biggest fan, Corey C, Forrest IJ, uh, Ronnie C Jr., J the Kid, J D, Marco R, David D, Hadi H, Mark D, Nick Brick, J Frank, Garth W, John M, Mrs. Too Much, uh, Philip A L, Slim, and let me get to the other ones one second, y'all. Um, Kenneth W. Uh, Rainmaker, Lee P, Piven, uh, Noro Cleric, John R, 
Leonard H, Olu O, Darius D, Ivan G, uh, Nana Rave 8, Jimmy M, Everett S, uh, Nermac S, Joseph F, Jeremiah S, uh, Shower Cap, Michael S, Martin M, Jimmy T, Christian R, Mike H, Danny B, Jordan W, Aja B, DJ B, James R, Jimmy T, Jimmy M, Jermaine L, Connor W, Daddy Gaming. I, I just do not like calling somebody Daddy Gaming. Uh, Shakir H, uh, Raven Hippie, Mark C, 2K6, Bruce W, uh, 43rd S King, Cody, Spencer 52, uh, Cody T, Louis B, Raven Pride, Tanil B, Irwin S, BG Method, JPD, uh, Herbs J, uh, Kai J, Larry J, and Lazarus. Appreciate y'all uh, being patrons and appreciate y'all supporting the channel uh, a little bit extra. Um, thank you for that. I love y'all. Team, keep it clean. Let's have a really fun time on the stream tonight. And we out. Shout out to Graven.